All right, everybody. Welcome to Dansville here. Today, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video, um, mainly because uh, right now, uh, your boy has got the germ, COVID, the coronavirus, or as Cardi B would say, coronavirus. Um, <laughs> it's so dumb how she does that. Uh, so I just want to talk to you guys today about uh, kind of how I felt the signs and symptoms that I had uh, and when I really kind of knew the difference between this and just like a normal uh, illness. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to run you through it real quick. Today is day seven for me. It's a Sunday um, and I first felt ill the previous Monday, so seven days ago. Um, and I woke up in the morning feeling kind of like I just hadn't gotten a ton of sleep. And from there, I went to work, and I don't work with anybody. Uh, I, I work by myself, uh, and I have my own shop that I can shut myself off from the world in, so I wasn't seeing anybody. Um, but I went to work, and around noon, I went to work at probably 9.30, uh, in the morning and around noon, I just, I started to get the shivers. Um, it's kind of some body aches. You can probably hear I'm still just a little nasally. Uh, but anyway, so shivers, body aches, nausea for sure. Um, maybe some dizziness. I, I can't quite remember. I don't think really that was like a main symptom, but like the chills and body aches big time. Uh, so I was real cold. So I said, you know what, screw this, I'm going home. Um, and I went home and I took a shower. And the shower did not, I mean, I, it warmed me up, which was the whole point of me taking it. But it just felt like I was just deteriorating more and more while, uh, while, the, you know, while I was in there taking the shower. Get out of the shower, hop into bed, you know, just tons of blankets and everything. And I fell in and out of sleep from about noonish 12:30 until eight o'clock that night um, and really just couldn't didn't want to move like every time I moved I felt sort of like just this wave of nausea came over me um, and my back and my neck was just killing me more so than they normally do. I mean, this wasn't just like soreness from a workout or from my job. Jesus, the heater is going nuts in here. Um, excuse me. Uh, so, you know, but real achy pains in the back and the neck and all that stuff. Uh, so, or after 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock comes around, I can, I can stomach moving around and getting up and stuff. Um, and thankfully my fiance, the magistrate, my manager was, uh, feeling good and was able to make some, uh, homemade ramen soup with some bone broth. that was delicious. Uh, and I think it really, uh, kind of helped settle my stomach a little bit that night. Um, went to bed, felt, okay going to bed woke up feeling okay i mean really that whole like the the chills was gone at that point the kind of the oh oh and also while i was laying in bed between noon and 8 uh, p.m the first day on that monday um you know it felt like i had a fever like my you know my body was trying to bake out whatever it was going on in there um although i did take my temperature several times and was no more than 0.2 or 3 degrees above the uh, average 98.6, which really is kind of a skewed average number anyway. So I, I don't, I'm, and to be honest, I'm not sure exactly where I run on that scale. Um, for example, my fiance, she typically runs about 97.8 or so as opposed to uh, 98.6. Um, so she's like, that's her average and she's maintained her average as well uh, this whole time, um, but we'll get to that. So anyway, no fever, although it felt like I had one. Uh, and you know, once again, the aches and pains um, in my neck and back uh, were real bad. So let's move forward in, now into Tuesday. Um, wake up feeling fine again. 
uh, while just feeling sluggish a little bit for sure, fatigued. Um, come back to my shop and am only here for a couple hours that day. Uh, and I go home feeling just overall sluggish and bad. Uh, and then, and on Tuesday is when my fiance, she's about a day behind me symptom wise. Uh, so Tuesday is when things went bad for her. Um, and went, started to go downhill and she started feeling the same way that I felt Monday, but worse, um, has felt kind of all the symptoms that I've had. She's had two or three times worse than than myself. Uh, so thankfully I was in a good enough shape to then, you know, kind of reciprocate for her that night, what she had done for me the, the night before, although I probably didn't do as good of a job as she did for me. Um, this is such a, why, why do we suck at that, man? Um, anyway, Wednesday rolls around day number three rolls around and I'm feeling better. Uh, with the exception, and, and th this whole time, back and neck pain like crazy. Uh, so Wednesday rolls around, I'm feeling good, I, and I actually come to work and I put in a full day's work. Um, I'm working on a car right now, uh, and I fixed the hood of the car and some of the sides that day. Um, so that was uh, a productive day. Thursday rolls around, I feel real good, except my nose, uh, my my back pain's gone, my neck pain's still there, but now I'm starting to get congested. So day number three, I feel about 65, 75% better. Um, day number four, I'm about 85% better, uh, like back to normal when I'm saying like 85% of like how I normally feel. Um, and I'm on day seven right now. Uh, but day, uh, day four Thursday, um, I started feeling this burning sensation in the back of my nasal cavity, kind of right in here, where almost like when you when you inhale sharply and deeply on a real cold day and you get that uh, that kind of burning sensation in the back of your nostril, it was just constantly like that. Um, and I started to get a little bit of congestion at that point. And I thought, well, you know, probably just the, you know, we're coming down off of it here. And I didn't really think anything of it. And Thursday night, I noticed about a 80% recline in my smelling capabilities and about 80% in my tasting capabilities. And uh, come about midday Friday, they were both completely gone and they still are gone. I can't smell or taste a dang thing, even though with the exception of that, now here on day seven, and it was the same with Friday. Um, starting at, at day five on Friday, I have felt almost completely normal, like 95%, 98%. The only thing stopping me from being full normal is just a slight amount of congestion and the fact that I cannot smell or taste anything. I mean, to the point of where yesterday for lunch, Saturday, which I felt a little bit lethargic on Saturday, but I think that was just kind of the fact that I didn't really do anything. I just lounged around all day. I find that when I get sick, I feel more sick if I don't do anything. If I get up and I get dressed and I at least maybe even just go for a drive, right? Or I go for a long walk or something like that. I, I find that I feel less sick, um, even if I haven't gotten any better. So I didn't do really anything yesterday. I just kind of lounged and watched TV day number six. And I, and I, so I felt a little bit more lethargic and a little bit more sick that day. But I think that just had to do with the fact that I was lounging, um, which, you know, I need to do, but mentally it's difficult. Um, but yesterday, I mean, this is just an example of how bad, how literally zero taste, um, I made a grilled cheese sandwich and I just burnt the crap out of one side of it. I mean, just as black as that flag right there. Um, and I, I was, I was kind of pissed and I didn't even notice that it was burning because I couldn't smell anything. Uh, so I couldn't smell it burning. And then by the time I visually 
made eye contact with the pan and and saw all this the smoke coming up um which i couldn't smell either uh uh, I flipped the, the sandwich over and, I mean, just destroyed. I mean, normally, a, a ruined sandwich. You'd have to start from scratch. But I thought, well, you know, let's see, like, really how much I can't taste here. So I ate it anyway, and I, no idea what I was eating. No idea. Um, it was hilarious. I mean, the only thing – and I kind of liked it because I, I do like a little bit more of a crisp on a, on a grilled cheese sandwich – with tomato soup. So it was, it was nice and crunchy, which was just hilarious to me that normally that's something that, uh, you know, you'd have to start over from scratch, but I just went ahead and downed it anyway. Like it was, like it was nothing. Couldn't smell it. Couldn't taste it. None of that. I can only imagine how bad, you know, I might smell right now or my breath or my apartment or whatever it is, you know, just cause you can't, it'll be interesting to see what it's like uh, with those sensories returning when they do, hopefully no, mo no more than a couple days. I've heard everything from about a week, two weeks, you know, some people even have said about 30 days before they're fully back with their taste and, uh, and smell senses. Uh, but that's been how it's been for me. You know, I haven't really felt knock on wood much worse than that. Um, I know some people, I mean, obviously it's taken the lives of uh, a lot of people, uh, around the world, uh, since this has happened. So I don't want to downplay it. Like it's not a big deal for me. Thankfully it wasn't. Um, and, I, and, and by the way, the entire time I've had this every morning, noon and night, I have just been sending in the troops in terms of vitamin C emergencies, vitamin C gummies, um, zinc. The other supplement we've been taking is this thing called cat's claw. Uh, nettle is another one. Um, and then things like Theraflu, Alka-Seltzer, stuff like that. I mean, just assaulting my body with, uh, all that, all that good stuff. And as well as not drinking alcohol, which was a goal of mine for January anyway of the new year. Uh, but this has just helped with that. Um, uh, so, you know, really, and, and just tons of fluid, tons of water, um, you know, whatever it is. Um, I mean, I've, I've never drank as much fluids as I have, um, you know, this time around. And I think that that's really helped. I, I genuinely do. And, and letting yourself sleep, you know, even when I was coming to work, uh, like Wednesday, Thursday, days three, four, um, you know, I was letting myself sleep in till nine thirty, ten 10 o'clock, just because that's what I needed. The, you know, my body clearly needed that. Um, so, you know, getting plenty of rest, fluids, maintaining eating, even though you can't taste anything. I think all that's important. Um, now, you know, like I said, my fiance has definitely had it worse than I have. Um, she's about a day behind me symptoms wise, but her symptoms have been worse. She hasn't thrown up, hasn't had a fever either. Um, but definitely bad nausea, chills, uh, lethargy, um, just overall aches and pains, that kind of stuff. Um, so it's been a little bit worse for her, uh, than it has me. I'm not really sure why, uh, but I guess that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Um, but that's been my experience. And, you know, like I said, I'm only on day seven. We've been quarantining. Um, you know, the only place I come is, is my shop here where nobody else comes in. Nobody else has access to it. It's, it's, I mean, it's basically like my own home garage. It's just not attached to my home. Um, so, you know, I don't want anybody freaking out thinking that I'm, you know, having some sort of super spreading thing going on over here. Um, but that's been how it is. So we've got, you know, obviously at least another week of, uh, quarantining, maybe longer, um, which, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, I'm obviously not thrilled about it. Uh, I'm a very social person. I like to hang out with my friends. Um, you know, even if you're just popping into your buddy's house for 20, 30 minutes, saying what's up, seeing whatever they got into over the weekend, whatever it is, I'm a big fan of doing that. And it, and it's very difficult for me to, uh, have to, you know, be this isolated creature. Um, so that's been what it's like for me. Um, I'll probably wait until I'm done having 
the the virus, the germ, as I like to call it. Um, I'm gonna wait till I'm done with it before posting um, these videos. So there'll probably be this one. I'll probably make another video on it, um, maybe on like day 10, and let you guys know how I'm feeling. So that'll be um, Wednesday of this coming week here. And, but then I'm gonna wait until I'm fully through it to publish these videos. Um, I don't really know why I'm gonna do that. It just, I don't know, it feels like it makes more sense. Um, to do that and then that way like friends of mine aren't aren't freaking out or whatever i don't know maybe i'll post it today i don't know i haven't decided yet either way um i just wanted to get this out there and share how it's been for me um because i think it's important that kind of we gauge um what you know how it is for everybody uh because i want if you do get this you know i want you to feel like it's not the end of the world because it's not um you know, if you take really good care of yourself, keep plenty of fluids in, in you, um, you know, it's it's got the virus has a high survival rate, as we've seen. Um, and, you know, it, it, it if you do it smart and right, um, you're going to come out of this, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But, you know, if you've got a pre-existing condition you know, a, a heart thing, a lung thing or whatever. Uh, yeah. You know, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you what your experience is going to be like. And I hope nobody else gets it. I mean, it does suck. It's not fun. Um, that, that day, the day one, when I had those flu like symptoms was some of the most uncomfortable I've been in a long time. Um, and that's including like a food poisoning event where it just, you know, your body's getting torn apart by something that it doesn't like. Uh, which happened to me a couple weeks ago with uh, this stuff called kava, this like powdered supplement or whatever. It was, I took some of that at the recommendation of a friend about the fact that it would help me sleep better. And two hours later, I didn't know which end it was going to come out of next. It was that bad. Um, but folks, be smart, take supplements, stay hydrated, eat well, and you know we're gonna get through this together so that's all i got in this video today if you got any questions for me specifically about it leave them in the comments um you know share this video if you've got friends that are going through it and they want to know you know more information about other people's experience um go ahead and share this video with them uh and you know just just stay healthy guys stay healthy um we're gonna we're gonna make it through this we're gonna come out the other side and uh yeah that's really all i got for you so hope everybody's doing well having a happy new year so far uh you know we're in control of our lives guys and uh we can have good lives that we dictate or we can you know get told what to do and we can we can not have a positive life by letting other people kind of get in our way and interfere with our daily mindset you know uh, my my father printed out a quote for me i think it's by charles swindle i think and it's uh, a quote called attitude it's about two or three paragraphs long but i've got it framed it lives in my living room um and it and it talks about how you know, you, you're in control of your attitude and, and we all know this, right? But the, the last uh, stanza of this quote uh, says, I'm convinced that 10% of life is what happens to you and 90% is how you react to it. I leave it to you. We are all in charge of our attitudes. Thanks for watching.